Welcome to the Math and Physics Exploration at 1054 Freedom Plains Road, LaGrange, New York. The magic square is a paradigm in learning. What we are doing now is trying to find a solution where the numbers add up in rows, columns, and diagonals to the number 15. Here we've started with one in the corner and are now systematically trying to solve the problem. But we get stuck at the seven. We have failed. But we don't give up. I will give you the solution where the even numbers go sequentially in the corners and the odd numbers go in the remaining spaces also in a sequential order. Many people would now be satisfied that they had solved the problem, but they haven't. There is more than one solution. Let's take a simple concept that we learn in the third grade, rotation, and see how many more solutions we can get. We're not finished yet. We can get four more solutions by using reflection. This problem is a paradigm in some of the ways that we need to improve our studying and learning processes. This is one of the many examples at the Math and Physics Exploration on how we make math fun, easy, and enjoyable to learn. Let us look at a few more examples and then perhaps we come in, can come and visit. We have several kiosks and workstations where you can watch or you yourself can perform some of the activities at the exhibits. In the next few examples, we're going to show you the application of the binary number system to some children's toys, where we will show it to you both on the computer and we will show it to you with real live toys. We see that when we mix colors, we can use a binary number system to predict what the outcome will be. And here we have a simple children's toy where if the rules are to make sure that a smaller ring is always on top of a larger ring, the child is actually building a computer and playing this simple little game. The rules for this game is each person is to take one to three cubes at each turn. The person left with the remaining cube loses the game. We will illustrate an example and then show by using color scheme how it becomes obvious what your strategy is in order for you to win.
If it's still not clear, just come visit us at the exploration. And now, let's look at how we can get you more involved. Here we're showing how we explain the extributive rule using cartoons of children, in this case my grandchildren, to show how fun math can be. There may even be an opportunity to, for you to use one of the displays to make a cartoon of yourself. Similar triangles and fractions may be difficult concepts to learn, but here at the exploration we show how by using the proper approach that we can make it easy to understand and get a feel for these concepts. To understand how math is applied to the physics, we take simple examples like the balance bar, which demonstrates the power of mechanical advantage. You can play with it and learn more about physics and more about math. These were examples for grade school students, but we go much more beyond this through middle school, through high school, and even college. Here we show how quickly we can teach you calculus and then apply it to designing a square-wheeled or a three-wheeled bicycle. And we even show you a design that we are trying to implement currently. The Math and Physics Exploration is free. Come visit us here in LaGrange, New York, just 90 miles north of the city. Enjoy and learn.